All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the vidiot of the day. It's another Gen Z vidiot, huh. and uh, this girl. Oh boy, what a story! She's got a degree in acting and communications, and of course, college debt because she got two degrees. And she says she speaks three languages, and she puts up a TikTok where she's holding a stack of resumes, and she's wiping away tears because she's applying for minimum wage jobs. Nobody will hire her. Was she overqualified? Is that why? No, I, she's, I think she's just saying, I can't get any job. So then she kind of announces what she would like to really do at the end, but check this out. Oh, she's a cute girl, too, like all these TikTokers. This is the most humbled I've ever felt in my life. I'm literally holding resumes, a stack of them, so that I can go in person to places and say, are you guys hiring? <laughs> For the record, I did this too when I was unemployed. So I, I don't see You made a video on TikTok? I didn't make a video on TikTok, <laughs> but I had a stack of resumes when I needed a job, and I went to place to place, and I dropped them off. Did so, you cry? so far, I understand what she's going did through. Did you cry? It's honestly a little bit embarrassing because I'm literally applying for like minimum wage jobs and some of them are being like, we're not hiring. And it's like, what? This is not what I expected. I graduated college with two degrees in communications and acting. I speak three languages. Mm. Oh, this sucks. Like, I, I just want to be a TikToker if I'm being so for real with you. Oh God, shut up. But I can't up. be delusional anymore. Like I literally need to make money and so. I'm just going to keep trying. And she's wiping away tears at the end. Okay, so. Oh God. I just want to be a TikToker at the Shut end. Shut up. <laughs> my, my first response is, you studied acting and communications. Why are you applying to coffee shops and shouldn't she be in Los Angeles? She's fluent in three languages. I, you, if you're bilingual, you have a very great chance of getting a job as an interpreter. It's three, or though. Yeah. But which... that's not acting, Brandon. <laughs> Well, why isn't she applying at a television station or, yeah. uh, you know, on, at a platform or at Blaze TV or something? You know, I, I just don't. It seems like the degree is just window dressing. Right. She was she was acting sad, though. She was. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. She was. Her acting was pretty good. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the video <laughs> This is really funny, but I know you'll you'll understand this. Her video resonated with her fellow Gen Zers. No. Oh, God. It's got 3.3 million views. Uh. So maybe she can be a TikToker. Oh, please, uh. no. Anyway, the I read a couple stories about this today, and one of them said, in a recent survey, and this is I've seen surveys like this before, they said a social media star is the number one desired job in Gen Z. Yeah. Like 26% say they want to be a social that's media star. And that's broad. I mean, that, can, that can mean anything from being a video gamer yeah, no, it's a lot of, yeah, yeah it, it, I mean, there's a broad area there, but you, 26%, no, not well, even one, not even a half of 1% can be a social media When you were young, star. Drew, they probably all, everyone wanted to be a firefighter yeah, or I something. Did. Sure. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Absolutely. Not everyone wanted to be an actor or a musician. There were those kids out there, but not a quarter of them. No, no, I know it's really weird that that many people, but the, the thing is, I guess, thinking back on it, uh, I know we've talked about this a little bit. When you get out of college and you see people that are doing super well, mm. which when we were getting out of college, there weren't many people doing that well because no. you had to kind of work your way up. Right. But when you're 20 years old now, there's a chance that you might know some YouTuber or some gamer or somebody, you know, who's making crazy money doing it. And so, you know, it might seem like, well, yeah, somebody my age can make millions of dollars. Whereas when we got out of college, you couldn't just make a million dollars. There was no way. Our scope was limited by the, as far as we could get our, you know, information out. Her scope was unlimited because she could just get on any platform. She gets yeah. on TikTok. She, she can get on OnlyFans did. tomorrow <coughs> if she That's really true. wanted to because she's a cute girl. And I'm telling you, uh, she wasn't Only that fans cute. is a pretty good way to make money. Give her that much she, credit. She'll get a job out of this, probably. Probably. You think? Yeah. Probably. You're right. She wasn't. I wouldn't pay for her. Um, right. There was. That's a good picture of her. Yeah, that there was, were. That was uh, there were a lot of comments from people her age who were who were suggesting that yeah this is this is exactly what it's like and uh, they mentioned a number of other videos have gone viral like this of people who are you know seemingly 
Wow, that's a good picture. Yeah, I'm just really cute. I might change my mind and subscribe to that OnlyFans. Yeah, that's better. I think she's really pursuing this social media thing well, more than we think. Why doesn't she dress up a little bit? When, like, look how she's dressed going to drop off resumes. Doesn't look like she's she took a shower. She's like a slob when look. she's trying to look for a job, but when she's in front just, of the camera. I just noticed you can see the tears on her face in that frozen <laughs> yes. shot at the beginning. There's one tear on each cheek. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just going to keep crying, it says. But anyway. She, by the way, was saying, oh, I have to work at a minimum wage job. But she's an entry-level person. She's, With she two college entry- degrees, With Two college degrees, think. you've still got to, you know, find something to get in some door. Somewhere. She doesn't want to do that. Uh, but I have a degree. She wants to be a TikToker. She speaks three languages. <laughs> yeah, she's well, better than that. When we get out of college, did we think we were going to just magically transform ourselves into our dream job from walking? Trudy, you're, t- you're talking about us. I have nothing <laughs> well, without my following. Uh, Gen Z. What's the, happened since everybody then? Everybody They're now. all victims. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, by the way, she turned down a job that would have paid her $16 an hour, which in New York is not that much money, but um, it was because it was a barista job, and she said she had to work 18 unpaid days to train in order to get the job. And I'm like, oh my God. wait, you can tell people they have to train for 18 days and not pay them? Well, that's, that's legal? True, I was an intern for two years without getting paid. <laughs> I, don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about, Jim. I did get a few little... A few little <laughs> I thought you were highly Crumbs. compensated. I didn't know anything about <laughs> yeah, that. Bullshit. <laughs> right but there. I was fine with that. I enjoyed doing it. Stuttering John was a radio intern for like 12 years, I think. <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs>